Hello there, everyone. Okay, so this is Justin Derby, a Christian over on BitChute, who has been making exposed videos about Mario. I posted a couple other ones he made on my channel, and I'll leave a link on the outro if you haven't seen them. But notice when you listen to him, he points out all the same things I have been saying. The same things a call for an uprising was saying. Because some of us recognize the patterns that Mario uses. If you're watching this video, then you are part of the TTOR army. An army that is building itself up one subscriber at a time. As you can see from the title and thumbnail of today's video, we're going to be talking about Mario, the Vigilant Christian again. If you're someone who follows Gary828's YouTube channel, then you know that Gary828 has been doing a marvelous job of his own the last couple of years in exposing Mario for the lying, fraudulent charlatan that he is. But I don't want Gary to feel all lonesome over there by himself on YouTube, so here I am in the alt-tech world also exposing Mario. Hey, I'm happy for the help. And to my viewers, share these videos I make. Share on your social media. You can even mirror them to your YouTube channel. I want exposed videos of Mario plastered all over YouTube. I don't want any of his viewers to be able to play a single one of his videos without seeing one of these exposed videos on the sidebar. And I've only been focused on getting him to stop YouTube, but now I see I'm going to have to take it to another level and start working towards getting him off social media as well. Get him off Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> and maybe even TikTok. <laughs> maybe I need to... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need to join <laughs> to join TikTok. <laughs> so, for your consideration, if you've been following me for a while, then you may recall that back in November of 2020, I put out a video titled "Vigilant Mario Returns to YouTube Admits That He Is Waiting for His Critics to Stop Exposing Him," and in this video. Mario talks about all the wonderful things he's doing for his local church ministry and how basically he has a supporting role within their ministry and within the church and how happy and content he is doing that. But then later in the video, he admits that he's waiting for his critics to stop exposing him on YouTube so that he can return to YouTube one day in the future. Because he also shows in this video that he was still posting to Facebook and Instagram. He didn't stop using social media he just stopped using YouTube because he's waiting for people like Gary to stop exposing him. And then he'll try and sneak his way back in and do what he wants. Well, here we are, six months later, and Mario, true to his word, came back to YouTube, as you can see here. He had that video that I responded to six months ago. And then about five, six weeks ago, he started posting videos again. And He's actually posted 24 videos over the past five to six weeks, whenever exactly it was. And, hmm, let's see what kind of topics he's talking about. Oh, he's talking about Little Nas and those satanic shoes. Uh-huh. Uh, we got WWE, The Undertaker. Uh-huh. We got uh, Call for an Uprising. Ooh, my. He's got multiple videos about DMX. Oh, my. He's got videos about Oprah. Oh, we got uh, the Nelk Boys. We got, ooh, Jake Paul. Ooh, yeah, the Holy Spirit totally led you into that. We got Jordan Peterson. Ooh, in Hollywood. Ooh, we got Cardi B and Little Wayne. So, basically, Mario has come back with a vengeance to his Vigilant Mario YouTube channel. And he's primarily talking about topics that happen to be trending that day or that week. Huh, well that's quite interesting, because if you remember Mario's giant video rant that he did against Gary828 before he later on took down the video, one of the things that Mario <laughs> threw at Gary828 is that Gary828 only makes videos about me for the purpose of getting views and subscribers, because when you look at his channel, just about every other video he get, he puts out there can't get more than 200 views, and sometimes gets less than 100 views, and all the videos about Mario get a few thousand or more views, and he gets some subscribers from his Mario videos. Therefore, Gary828 is only in it for the YouTube money, the YouTube views, and the YouTube subs. 
So Mario, in other words, accused Gary828 of doing the very thing that he's been doing for the past five to six weeks. I can't believe for even a second that Mario is making all these videos about topics that happen to be trending that day because the Holy Spirit is leading him to do it. He's literally doing it for the views and subs. He's trying to da uh, fix his damaged reputation that Gary828 and others played a humongous part in exposing. But not only is Mario guilty of making videos about whatever topic is trending that day in order to get views and subs, an accusation which he leveled at Gary828 last year. He is also stalking Gary828's channel like some kind of crazed, obsessed ex-girlfriend or something. How do I know this? Well, let's go to Gary828's channel. You'll see here he has this video called Mario's Recovery in Jesus Program, Report number three, which was uploaded on April 21st, 2021. In this video, Gary828 basically talks about how Mario has abandoned his recovery in Jesus channel and that he never really cared about addicts and people struggling with addictions and that he was simply in it for views and subs. And when those didn't come, he abandoned the channel, which is why he hadn't uploaded to that channel for six months. Well, when you go to the Recovery in Jesus channel, you'll notice that on April 22nd, 2021, the very next day, Mario all of a sudden, out of the blue, <laughs> uploads a 30-second video to his Recovery in Jesus channel titled, Struggling with Addiction Due to Lockdowns? And then, eight days later, he uploaded a video, I needed help and couldn't do it alone. So Mario didn't upload any videos to his Recovery in Jesus channel for six months. And it's only the day after Gary828 exposes that he's abandoned his channel and he truly doesn't care about addicts, it's the day after Gary puts out that video that Mario all of a sudden starts uploading to that channel again. It's almost like Mario thought that by doing this, he was going to show that Gary828 was wrong about him abandoning his recovery in Jesus' channel. But the fact that you waited until the day after Gary828 called you out on it to upload to that channel, Mario, proves that you're a lying fraud. And to add to that, the last video he uploaded about Cardi B was on May 4th. And on May 6th, I uploaded a video pointing out his eyes looked off on that video and wondered if he could be back on drugs and found it odd that his rehab certificate is gone and replaced by his YouTube plaque. And as of the day of this recording, May 24th, he has not uploaded a video since. So I found that odd. Of course, this is not proof, but it's just a bit odd, especially with his track record. And speaking of lying fraud, Mario is still lying to you about being an evangelist and a church leader. If you go to his Vigilant Mario channel, you'll see that he says in the description box, My name is Mario, and I am an evangelist, apologist, watchman, and church leader. Here you will find videos to help strengthen your faith. What's disgusting about Mario claiming in the description box of his channel that he is an evangelist and a church leader is that prior to Mario getting exposed in 2019 for the sexting affair that he had with that one lady, and his admission of all the drugs and alcohol and the uh, escorts that he spent his 500000 dollars of fan donations on. And don't forget about the pics of naked... <laughs> of na naked men... <laughs> on, on his phone. <laughs> oh, but of course he says that, you know, he's never done anything with men or anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're so sure. Before he got exposed for all of that, he was claiming to be an evangelist and a church leader. But then, after he got exposed, everyone was telling him, well, you need to get off YouTube now because you cannot be an evangelist and a church leader and, do, and running a ministry and doing that stuff. And so then Mario came out after he got exposed and he said, well, yeah, if I was an evangelist and a church leader, I would have to step down from my ministry because of 
what I've been exposed for doing. But you see, I'm really not an evangelist. I'm not really a church leader. I'm just a YouTuber who happens to be a Christian, and therefore I can continue making YouTube videos. <laughs> That's literally what Mario said. And I covered this on a video in 2019 shortly after he got exposed and he would make apology videos and repentance videos. Then he would make videos explaining why he did what he did and justifying why he did it. And then even blaming others for exposing him and making it out to be their fault. I'll leave a link to that video I made about it on the outro if you want to see for yourself. It'd be especially good for newcomers who didn't see it in 2019 so they can start to see the patterns that he's been using for a decade now. If his older videos were still up, I could easily show you he was still using the same patterns back then that he's still using now. I'll see if I can find some of his older videos online and maybe I can make a video showing you. But then, after all that heat died down, what does Mario do? He, re uh, he visits the Vigilant Mario channel and he Make sure to say in the description box that he's an evangelist and a church leader after he already admitted to you that he's not. We, me and Gary pointed this out in our respective videos almost an entire year ago, and Mario still hasn't changed the description box. He still wants you to believe that he's an evangelist and a church leader, even though he has said himself on video that he's not. And this is how you know that Mario is a lying, fraudulent charlatan who is not interested at all in actually helping anyone. This is how you know that Mario is not a saved person. Because no saved person would claim to be an evangelist and a church leader and then come out later and admit that they really aren't in order to justify not stepping down from YouTube due to their horrible sins that they've been exposed for. And no saved person would follow that up by going back to claiming that they're an evangelist and a church leader. No saved person would do that. I would say that this is pretty strong evidence that Mario is not a saved Christian. He can claim all he wants that he's a saved Christian, that he's a brother to us all who are saved, but Mario isn't. He clearly isn't. Saved people don't do what this man has done. If Mario was not the lying charlatan that me and Gary828 have been claiming that he is, then he wouldn't care at all what Gary828 thinks about him or says about him. He would just continue to do what he does. But instead, when Gary828 makes a video exposing how Mario has abandoned his Recovery in Jesus channel, Mario literally uploads a video to that channel the day after Gary828 puts out that video in a desperate, pathetic attempt to make Gary828 look like he's lying. I saw that he made that video, but I haven't gotten around to watching it yet. I probably will watch it and cover it at some point, but it's just hard for me to motivate myself to watch one of his, <laughs> to watch one of his videos. He's just so dull and boring. We can see right through this, Mario. You're not fooling anyone, pal. And I hope you do see this video, Mario. If you do see this video, you need to know the truth about yourself, which is that you are a fraud and a liar and a charlatan, and it's pretty darn obvious to any discerning person that you're not a saved Christian. You are literally in it for views and subscribers and, if you're lucky, donations that you use to fund your addictions your drug addiction, your alcohol addiction, your addiction to women, and... And don't forget about the men. Most importantly, your dopamine addiction that you get fulfilled every time you get views and subs and engagement on social media. You're still an addict. You're not a changed person. You're the same loser reject that you were before you got exposed. Now, if Mario actually has any interest in getting right with God and actually being a saved Christian, he would do best to repent of all these horrible sins he's been committing for years and in all likelihood is still committing at the time of this recording. He would repent of those sins. He would bow his knee to God. He would submit to him via a personal saving relationship with Jesus. And then he would do one of two things. He would either get off of YouTube entirely and help out at his local church slash ministry 
or he would only post videos to his Recovery in Jesus channel, and the videos he posts here would only be helping people who are struggling with addictions. Mario could easily do that if he wanted to, and if Mario were to actually do that, I think Gary828 would leave him alone. Yep, pretty much. If all Mario did was post videos to his Recovery in Jesus channel, talking about addictions and how to overcome them and uh, interacting with people regarding those topics, I think Gary828 would actually not only leave him alone, but we would begin to think that Mario actually does care about people struggling with right. addictions. He would actually seem legitimate if he was really doing that. But Mario has no interest in actually doing that because he doesn't really care about people struggling with addictions. He's literally just using them to get his dopamine hits on social media. Yep, that's it. And they're not getting him much dopamine, so he really doesn't want to even address the topic. But because Gary keeps hounding him on this, he uploaded a couple of videos to that channel recently just to make it seem like, yeah, I, I, ca I care about people struggling with addictions. I, I was one of you. Thank you for watching this video. I was just getting into it. Why'd you stop, man? Great job calling Mario out. I will leave links on the outro to the other two exposed videos he made on Mario. So check those out as well as the other one I made in 2019 going over the same stuff Justin talked about on this video. If you like what you saw in this video and you want to help me go from being a part-time to a full-time content creator, I would encourage you to subscribe to the channel, check out my other videos, and leave your likes and comments down below.